everybody, my name is Roxanne Wolf and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are reacting to The Secret Origin of Glamrock Freddy. This was requested by one of my viewers. So, yeah, that's, that's that. So, if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, tap that bell, and never miss out on one of my videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. So there's Glamrock Freddy and Gregory, okay. Of course they fall through the floor. I know. This part of the Afton thing. What this is, I have been here before. To Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place? I found myself for the first time when I cleared the path. Oh, that's, that's supposed to be the line for the, um, for when he, uh, for when you go in downstairs and he says, Yeah, I found and security breach. Okay. I did not want to, but I had no choice. Now, I have a choice. I have changed. My friends are here. They are so angry, confused. But I can protect you. I am not me. Okay, time out. Start from the beginning. Who are you then? There's a, there's this whole theory going around about uh, Glamrock Freddy is uh, his being possessed by Michael Afton. Now, this is just a theory, guys. This is not fact. So, at least not it's not fact unless it's confirmed by Steel Wool, which it hasn't been yet. So, it's not fact yet. Now, is it? For you to understand who I am, you need to hear the entire story of a very troubled family and their youngest child. Oh, we're about to get into the juicy shit. <laughs> I remember when, I remember this, I actually already played through the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 uh, game, but the, video, the actual videos of that will be coming out very soon, you guys, I hope you're, I hope you're ready. A crying child. <laughs> wow, your brother is kind of a baby, isn't he? <laughs> it's hilarious. Why don't we help him get a better look? He'll love it. No, please! Come on, please. guys. Let's give this little man a lift. He wants to get up close and personal. No! I don't want to go! You heard the little man. He wants to get even closer. <laughs> hey, guys. I think the little man said he wants to give Fred Bear... So, yeah, here's Fred Bear and... <laughs> and... <laughs> Wow, he's about to get bit, man. He's about to get bit. For a big kiss. On three. Your brother passed away because of this. Because of this. You literally put him in Fredbear's mouth. And because he was crying, the spring locks tripped because it got wet. And then literally Fredbear chomped on his head and now Evan died. Wow. What, what, a, what a brother, man. Jeez. One, two, <laughs> yeah. and they're laughing. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Your brother is about to die because of you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> even they're, they're they're even stunned about all that. Yeah, they're they're spring locks. You didn't know they they literally. The spring locks will literally trip if you get them wet. That's how that works. Was the bite of 83. The boy- Was that the bite of 87? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had- We survived the attack. Literally, I'm pretty sure that's Markiplier's most famous line, man. But not for very long. Afterwards, the brother vowed to do everything he could to make things right again. As he should. But it was going to take quite some time. Is this going by the theory that um, Evan is uh, Gregory rebuilt? Or no, wait, Gregory is um, Evan rebuilt. And, and like Michael is being, or is possessing Lamar Freddy, is it that type of thing? Is it going by that theory? What do you mean? We'll get to that. First, we need to talk about Mike Schmidt. See? Many years ago, a young man by that name got an overnight job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Yeah. And, 
Wow. Michael has survived a lot. And then he finally went into business to my Freddy. According to the theories. Now, the theories are not fact. Just remember that, guys. He was a security guard. Much like Vanessa is here. Was he a bad guy too? No. He was trying to do good. Every night he worked there, he stopped the animatronics from attacking. And on the seventh night... Yep, yep, I remember that. He tried to reprogram their AI and was subsequently fired. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what happened. Because that's what the custom night is about. You literally tweet, you literally mess with their AI and you get fired for it. You know? Also for unprofessionalism and odor, apparently. Odor. <laughs> yeah, there, there are some theories going on about why the odor is a reason to get fired. <laughs> like, whether it's you that has the odor or the animatronics. And they just think it's you or some shit. I don't freaking know, man. What does any of this have to do with the rest of the story? Because Mike Schmidt was the older brother who accidentally killed the crying child. What? True, true, true. How? Mike Schmidt was just a name he used to hide his true identity. Michael Afton. Afton? Like William Afton? Uh, yeah, but William Afton's son. The founder of Fazbear Entertainment? The very same. You see... William Afton had three children, two sons and a daughter, and their relationship was complicated to say, yeah. say the least. Years after the death of his brother, Michael takes a job at Freddy Fazbear's sister location, Circus I don't think that's Baby's Entertainment and Rental. There it is, Circus Baby's Entertainment and Rental. <laughs> He's instructed by his father to retrieve his sister, Elizabeth. What happened to her? She had been taken captive by an animatronic named Circus Baby. Yeah, that is kind of sad. I mean, this is why you should keep an eye on your kid, William. A cruel device made by their father. What a father, dude. Her soul was fused with the endoskeleton, and the two became one. Michael went to save her, but he was fooled. Instead of rescuing his sister, he was scooped and used for his body. Yikes, yeah. So that the animatronics could escape. He was a zombified corpse. A human costume for horrible animatronics, now called Anard, to use as cover while they walked freely in the outside world. Yeah, exactly. But over time, the flesh suit began to decay. The once normal human body began to rot and change colors. Michael became a purple man. Yeah, damn. And just like that, their cover was blown. Damn. The animatronics inside Michael were forced to escape his body and flee into the sewers. Any normal human would have died, but not Michael. He had been injected with Remnant. Remnant? Remnant is a soul force. It can be injected. Yeah, Remnant into inanimate objects to make them immortal. In this case, the corpse of Michael Afton. It's what allowed him to survive. Yeah, that is crazy to think about, though. Michael literally turned purple, and because he had remnant, he survived getting scooped? Like, how? Essentially making him immortal. That is insane. Wow, I can't believe it. That's when Michael Afton decided that he needed answers and took on the alias of Mike Schmidt. He needed to understand what was really happening behind the scenes at his father's restaurants. So, Michael accidentally hurt his brother, then got scooped by Ennard. Yeah. Then became Michael Schmidt and worked as a security guard? Yeah. Yes. That's a lot. It is. For real. Is. What 
What happened after that? Michael's experiences started to haunt him nightly. From the death of his brother, the betrayal of his father at sister location. Yeah, like literally, the story of Five Nights at Freddy's, man, is so complicated, man. Like, like it's hard to explain it, and it, there's just a lot, and there's theories, and a lot of shit is not even confirmed. It's crazy. And his stints warding off evil animatronics, they were adding up. He would have horrific nightmares that combined all these elements into a singular home. Do you see the kid's eyes there, bro? Michael had to deal with his inner demons one by one over the course of Nightmare several nights. He had to relive the tragedies he committed against his younger brother. He needed to feel that pain. It sounds like Michael was being too hard on himself. The crying child's death was an accident. Yes, but Michael wasn't exactly a good brother before that incident either. Yeah, wow, this... Yeah, just think about this story, man. This story, like... Convoluted, dude. That's for serious. Oh. The week before his birthday party at Fred Bear's family diner, Michael bullied his brother repeatedly. He'd lock him in his room for hours. And that is sad, dude. That is so sad. And him with his foxy mask, he tormented the poor, crying child. Why was Michael so mean? Why would he do that? I'm not sure, Gregory. I wish I knew, but he was never going. Yeah. So are they going for the theory that he, that Grandma Freddy is possessed by Michael, or are they not? I guess let's keep on. To be like that again, and the nightmares made his path forward clear. He had to destroy his father, William. He had to stop him for good. It took years for Michael to. Oh, this is FNAF 3. Find William, decades even. But he eventually tracked his location down to an attraction called Fazbear's Fright. Yeah, I think what they did is they remade, um. Uh, they rebuilt the FNAF 1 location. Like, I, I don't know exactly what they did, but they built Fazbear's Fright using the FNAF 1. It, it's hard to explain. I don't know exactly what they did, but something like that. I don't know. I, I think I'm on the right track. Oh. Chris Springtrap just. I mean, FNAF 3 is one of, is one of is one of the harder games, but it's not like overly complicated or over or overly difficult. Like Springtrap is not too OP unless you're doing aggressive nightmare mode. Then he's OP. All the old pizzerias had been closed down long ago. The new current owners of Fazbear Entertainment decided to cash in on the scary history of its establishment and make a replica of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza with some minor horror embellishments to up the fear factor. It that is crazy. It was going to open to the public in a matter of days, so Michael had to move fast. You see, William Mafton had been missing. He has white hair. <laughs> for quite. Damn. I mean, not, I mean, FNAF three does take place thirty years into the future, but I'm pretty sure Michael was a younger fella. Yeah, but no, nah, no, nah, but I think I can understand this though. Thirty years is quite a lot. Quite some time, but Michael believed that his father had infused himself with the animatronic. No and in case you're wondering what year, uh, for those of you who don't know, as far as we know, FNAF 3 takes place in 2023. Known as Springtrap, and was hiding here at Fazbear's Fright. You gotta love Springtrap. He always comes back. <laughs> That's his literal saying. And Michael was right. Springtrap was there, found boarded up. 
inside one of the safe rooms. To make matters worse, there was an issue with the ventilation system. Yeah, all these phantoms and shit. Oh my goodness. That caused him to see awful hallucinations of other animatronics, similar to his dreams from before. That's interesting. Michael. Guys, and then after you actually see just like uh, more withered up versions and burnt versions of the withered animatronics. Except for uh, Phantom Chica, which is, um, let's just say she looks more like the FNAF 1 version of Chica. Burned it all down. He couldn't allow that place to open, and for his father to be able to hurt innocent people once again. For real, you know? Like, William Afton is just an asshole, dude. But that was just the start. He needed to end this for good. Eventually, he teamed up with a man named Henry, William's old business partner. Who Henry, I remember him. Who also had many reasons to seek revenge in order to get rid of all the animatronics for good. Together, they faked the grand reopening of the Fazbear Entertainment restaurants and were able to get all the robots and souls under one roof. They set the place ablaze, just like the attraction before, hoping that it would take everything associated with William. And guess what happened? William escaped again! And apparently went to hell. <laughs> um, and then he uh, had his consciousness or whatever into a virtual thing. And he became Glitch Trap and then somehow he came back again as Burn Trap. I don't know what's up with that. Down forever. This even included themselves. That's crazy. Michael died in that fire. His mission was complete. Or so he thought. Or so he thought. <laughs> Why did I know he was gonna say that? I swear I didn't watch this before, but... I, I literally... That was literally so predictable, man. That, that was literally so predictable. Freddy? The restaurant that burned down is this place, Gregory. Where we are, right now. Friday Fazbear's Pizza Place? Yes. How do you know all this? Because I am Michael Afton. There it is! There it is! Alright, Glamrock Freddy is Michael Afton. There it is. So they are going by the theory, that theory, that um, Glamrock Freddy is Michael Afton. Or is being possessed by Michael Afton. That's pretty cool. What? When the new Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex was built on top of this restaurant, my soul must have been infused into this new glam rock Freddy body somehow. Yep. And I think if we continue, we will find my father William once again reborn. We have to stop him! I... Agree. Uh -oh. oh no. Oh damn. Wow. Oh yeah, we're not watching this video today. We'll do that. Well, we might react to this video at some point in the future, but not today. But, either way, that's it for me for now, y'all. That was a crazy story. I'm not even gonna lie. That was a crazy story. And, honestly, the FNAF story, the Five Nights at Freddy's storyline is just ridiculously convoluted. It's freaking complicated as hell. But you know what? That's just how things be sometimes. Either way, that's it for me for now, y'all. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Remember to stay awesome, and remember, I am the best.